Let's learn about the developmental frame of reference. The developmental frame of reference suggests that development is sequential, and behaviors are primarily influenced by the extent to which an individual has mastered and integrated the previous stages. This frame of reference views people as dynamic, developing, and people's lives go through stages of growth and decline, which require necessitate adaptation by the individual. People develop at different rate, but each stage of development can only proceed normally if the preceding stages have been completed successfully. Incomplete development in areas of skills or life stage would influence subsequent development. This frame of reference includes six adaptive skills, sensory integration skill, which is the ability to receive, select, combine, and coordinate sensory information for functional use, cognitive skill, which is the ability to perceive, represent and organize sensory information for thinking and problem solving, dyadic interaction skill, the ability to engage in a variety of primary groups, group interaction skill, the ability to participate in a variety of primary groups, self-identify skill, the ability to perceive self as an autonomous, holistic, acceptable person who has permanence and continuity over time, and sexual identify skill, which is the ability to perceive sexual nature as good and to participate in long-term sexual relationships. Mastery of skills to an age-appropriate level in all areas of development is necessary to achieve satisfactory coping behaviors and adaptive relationships. Occupational therapy prevents developmental of maladaptive behavior and skills, and promote growth and developmental links to close the gap between the expectation and ability through skilled application of activities and relationships. Assessments include interviews, observations, review of records, projective techniques, tests, and collaboration with caregivers to assess for disrupted or ceased development. Intervention techniques include activities, relationships, and environment, to facilitate the development of particular skills.